Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how you can use Walgreens Cash on a spend booster. A lot of people say that you can't do it, but you can, and here is how. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I usually grab a small transaction so I can get a paper booster if I don't have one. So I grabbed these M&M Minis, and sure enough, I got a paper booster, spend 30 get $7 in Walgreens cash, which matches the digital that I have. Okay, then I started grabbing the items that I wanted to build in this transaction. So I grabbed three Pampers Swaddlers, and it ended up being $31.50, and there is a $3 coupon, okay? But the number you're paying attention to is the number before coupons. So again, three Pampers Wildlers for $31.50. And then I went and grabbed two of these Optic White um, mouthwashes for $4.50 each. And there is a $4 coupon. Total is $9 before coupon. Then I grabbed one of these small tights for $5.49. And one of these small downy calms for $5.49. And then one of the gains for $5.49. And the unstoppables for $5.49. There is a dollar, two dollar fifty coupons and two a dollar coupons, but my total for all of this items before coupons is twenty one dollars and ninety six cents. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the totals before coupons of all of these items, which is going to turn out to be sixty two dollars and forty six cents before tax or coupons. Okay, so what that means is I have a spend booster of thirty dollars. So what I do is I add basically all these products together and I make sure that I can safely use $20 in Walgreens cash. So what I do is, okay, I have to spend 30. So then I, I just add 20 to that. So the amount that I had to spend in that scenario was $50. Okay. So I'm cleared because it's over $60. Then at that point, I take all the stuff to the register. Okay. I, all my coupons come off. Is going to be $30 in, um, in coupons and register rewards because I'm actually putting in $18 in register rewards as well. Okay, so what that's going to do is that it's going to drop my total from like $62 to $32. Then at that point, it's time to pay. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. This is where we get it wrong. Okay, you are not going to say to the cashier that I want to use Walgreens Cash. What you're going to do is you're going to open your Walgreens app and I'm going to show you how. So you're gonna open your app, you're gonna hit the cash rewards button, then you're gonna to go to um, your wallet, you're going to hit add or edit a payment method, you're gonna put in your card number, whatever card you normally pay with, okay? So you're gonna do that. Then you're gonna go back to the page and when you're ready to pay, you're gonna to go to redeem rewards. You're gonna select the amount that you want to redeem. So in this case, I was doing 20, okay? So I would have hit the $20 button and then I would have hit pay now. This barcode is gonna come up. What is gonna happen is that's gonna immediately take off the $20 off your total and then the balance is gonna be paid on your card. Which left my balance just over $12 out of pocket. But then I got $7 back twice, one for my paster booster, one for my digital booster. So I got $14 in Walgreens cash. And then I got $14 in register rewards, which is making the amount that I got back $28. So if you take that, subtract it by 12, I had a $16 money maker on my hands and I only paid out of pocket $12 um, on a just about a $62 transaction. So that is how you can use Walgreens cash to lower your out of pocket on those spend boosters. And you can have to stop spending more and more out of your own pocket. Happy saving.